Steph Curry blew a 3-1 lead in the finals with the greatest regular season team of all time. Kobe Bryant completely gave away the 2004 NBA Finals. Shaquille O'Neal was literally getting benched in the 2006 NBA Finals. LeBron James in 2011 had one of the worst meltdowns in NBA history, if not sports history. But Michael Jordan? Well, people may talk about the shortcomings Mike had against Larry Bird, the Bad Boy Pistons, and the Orlando Magic. It doesn't seem like Michael Jordan has a legacy tarnishing play playoff series on his resume. So this really begs the question, has Michael Jordan ever had a bad playoff series before when we look at Michael Jordan's playoff resume, there's only a handful of playoff series losses we can choose from. Of Michael Jordan's 15-year NBA career, he won the NBA Finals six times, and he didn't make the playoffs either of his two wizard years. So this only gives us a select few playoff series losses to choose from, that being 1985, 1986, 1987, 1988, 1989, 1990, and 1995. So of these seven playoff losses, which one stung the most for MJ? And the real question, did it really sting that bad? Michael Jordan's very first playoff series was in 1985 against the Milwaukee Bucks in the first round. Of course, as we know it, the Bulls did not beat the Milwaukee Bucks, led by Terry Cummings and Sidney Moncrief. The Milwaukee Bucks beat the Chicago Bulls 3-1 in the first round. Michael Jordan, despite having a really good playoff debut, averaging 29.3 points, 5.8 rebounds, 8.5 assists, 2.8 steals, and a block a game on a not-so-good 43% shooting, the seven-seeded Bulls were outmatched by a more experienced two-seeded Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks, but this series was only scratching the surface of Michael Jordan's potential. In 1986, Michael Jordan, despite getting slammed by the Celtics, had the series of his life. In the 1985 and 86 season, Michael Jordan was out the majority of the year due to a foot injury, which resulted in the Bulls having a regular season record of 30 and 52 and barely making the playoffs as an 8 seed. But thank God the Bulls barely made the playoffs because this series may go down as possibly the greatest showing Michael Jordan ever had. Jordan against the Celtics in 1986 averaged a whopping 43.7 points, 6. 3 rebounds, 5.7 assists, 2.3 steals, and 1.3 blocks. Michael Jordan probably had his best playoff game ever, scoring 63 points, 5 boards, 6 assists, 3 steals, and 2 blocks and 54% shooting. This was the series where Larry Bird called Michael Jordan Black Jesus, by the way. Jordan's next playoff series loss was against the Boston Celtics once again, and this series wasn't quite the showing Jordan put on last year, but still a very good showing. Jordan in 87 once again got swept by Boston 3-0. MJ in this series averaged 35.7 points, 7 boards, 6 assists, 2 steals, 2.3 blocks a game on 41.7% shooting. Once again, despite the loss, once again, despite the loss, Michael Jordan put on a pretty good showing for his third year. In 1988, Michael Jordan finally got out of the first round by beating the Cavs where he averaged only 45 points a game on 56% shooting, but that's besides the point. In 88, Jordan and the Bulls got their first taste of the Bad Boy Pistons, and the Bulls had a very tough and physical series, losing in 5 games to Detroit. Jordan, despite not having the explosive scoring numbers we're used to, he still averaged 27 points, 8.8 .8 rebounds, 4 assists, and 2 steals on 49% shooting. This series was really a wake-up call that the Bulls needed to put a competent supporting cast around MJ. In 1989, Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls made it as far as the conference finals. Despite the Bulls getting out to a 2-1 lead in the series, the Pistons came back and won three straight games. Jordan in this physical and chippy series averaged nearly 30 points, 6.5 rebounds, 5.5 assists, and two steals on 46% shooting. MJ's very last playoff series loss before going on to win his first three-peat was in 1990, once again playing the Pistons in the conference finals. This series went to seven games, where the home team won every single game of this matchup. The number one seeded Pistons were still too high for the number three seeded Bulls to handle. Michael Jordan in the series averaged 32.1 points, 7.1 rebounds, 6.3 assists, and 2.1 steals on 47% on shooting. 
After this series, Michael Jordan had enough of losing to the Pistons, eventually beating them in 1991 in the conference finals, and going on to win three finals in a row. The next time Michael Jordan was seen in the NBA playoffs after this was in 1995 after coming back from his first retirement, but MJ, who had just came back from retirement, had no problem beating the Hornets in the first round. The Magic the next round really gave him some trouble though. MJ in the conference semifinals just didn't look like himself. The Bulls lost this series to Orlando in six. Well, Jordan didn't necessarily have a bad stat line, averaging 31, 6, 3, 2.5 steals and 1.8 blocks. You could just see that he wasn't mentally sharp, but this was the last loss that Michael Jordan would ever take in the playoffs, going on to win his second three-peat and retire on top of the game. So back to the original question, has Michael Jordan ever had a bad playoff series? Game score. It's a stat created in the early 80s by none other than John Hollinger that roughly calculates the production a player gives on the court for one single game. It uses a very complex formula that I don't even want to get into. Now you may be asking, why are we talking about this rocket science looking equation? Well, game score is one of the best single game statistics in basketball, and we're going to use it to look at Michael Jordan's various playoff series. Right here we have a chart that shows every single Michael Jordan series. On the x-axis we have time in the form of seasons. On the y-axis, we have the average game score of Michael Jordan in those series. The small green dots represent every single series that Michael Jordan won in the playoffs. As you can imagine, there's a lot of them. However, the big red ugly dots are the times where he lost in the playoffs, and I really want to focus on these here. So let's break down this chart. Michael Jordan's best playoff series was by far his first round sweep against the Heat in 1992, where MJ averaged, and brace yourself for the stat line, 45 points, close to 10 boards, 7 assists, 3 steals, a block a game, and he did this all on 60% shooting. Just unreal. His next best series was in 1990 in the Eastern Conference semifinals against the 76ers, where Mike had a stat line of 43 points, 6 boards, 7 assists, 4 f steals, a block, and 55% shooting. His best NBA final series was in 1993, where the Bulls beat the Charles Barkley Suns in 6 games, and Mike averaged 43 points, 8.5 rebounds, 6 assists, around a steal and a block a game, and he did this all in 50% shooting. Taking a farther look away from this graph, a general trend that we can see is that Michael Jordan's best playoff series were easily in the late 80s and early 90s. First 3-peat MJ was by far better than second 3-peat Jordan. In fact, Michael Jordan's worst playoff series were actually in wins. The lowest game score in this chart, the 1996 NBA Finals, Michael Jordan had an off series, only shooting around 41% with 27 points. Or what about in the 1997 Conference Finals against the Heat? While Chicago won in a gentleman's sweep, Michael Jordan shot a very poor 38% where he just didn't look like himself. Now what I really want to focus on here are the big fat ugly red circles that represent Michael Jordan's playoff losses. According to game score, Jordan's worst playoff series was against the Pistons in 1988. MJ's worst series according to the stat was a series where he averaged 27, 9, 4, 2 and shot 49%. This is a dream for most superstars in the playoffs. His second loss to the Pistons in 1989, MJ once again was getting clamped up. Yeah, clamped up to almost 35, 6, 2 and 46% shooting. MJ in 1995 against the Magic is my personal pick for Jordan's worst playoff series. The guy was still in his prime years and had all the experience of winning you could ask for. He laid an egg for his standards. He just looked very off mentally. But of course, when you're arguably the greatest player of all time, 99% of players would dream of your worst series. Jordan against the Magic in 1995 averaged 31 points, 6 boards, 3 assists, around 4 steals and blocks combined, and shot around 48%. Some people would argue that his rookie year series against the Bucks he looked the worst in. While his efficiency was a little off, MJ was still doing whatever he wanted to the Bucks. Well, except for winning, of course. And finally, one of Jordan's best career playoff series was actually a 3-0 sweep loss to the Celtics in 86. But once again, a young Jordan was doing whatever he wanted to to the Celtics. So has MJ ever had a bad playoff series? Well, individually, I would say no, but I guess the only real way to answer this question is by looking at other NBA legends and their worst playoff outings. So I found the general consensus worst playoff series from every notable NBA legend that could even be mentioned in the same sentence as MJ. Right here, we have the same chart, but showing every other NBA legend and their worst playoff series in their prime by general opinion. Starting from youngest to oldest, first off, we have Dwayne Wade's tragic 2007 first round sweep loss to the Bulls. 
Wade, after coming off one of the greatest playoff runs of all time in 2006, laid a complete egg in the first round with a stat line of 23, 5, 6, and 43% shooting. Jason Tatum's worst series was by far the 2022 NBA Finals, where he completely fell apart against the more experienced Gold State Warriors, averaging 21, 7, 7, and shooting an abysmal 36% from the field. Jokic's worst outing was against the Lakers in the NBA bubble during the conference finals. Jokic just looked completely outmatched by an old Dwight Howard. Tragic Johnson in the 1984 NBA Finals is a series that many want to forget about, making several crucial blunders in crunch time. His arch rival Larry Bird, his worst playoff look was in the 1988 Eastern Conference Finals against the Pistons. While he was partly injured in this series, the guy just looked like a shell of himself. Steph Curry's worst series is without a doubt the 2016 NBA Finals. I mean, all I need to say is 3-1. to one. His arch rival LeBron James, his worst playoff round was without a shadow of a doubt, the 2011 NBA Finals. I mean, there's not a lot that needs to be said here, he just couldn't handle the moment. Kobe's worst playoff round was the 2004 NBA Finals, where Kobe was expected to lead the Lakers with Shaq getting older, but he did quite the opposite and single-handedly shot the Lakers out of this series. Dirk is in a very similar situation as D-Wade, where he also made an impressive finals run in 2006, just to let everyone in Dallas down in the first round in 2007. Giannis's worst playoff series series was in 2019 in the Eastern Conference Finals, where Kawhi and the Raptors pretty much put Giannis in jail. Speaking of Kawhi, the Claws' worst series was the 3-1 lead they choked against Denver in the bubble, where Kawhi shot an abysmal 6-for-22 in Game 7. Pistons' Isaiah Thomas's worst playoff series was against the Bulls in 1991, getting swept and pretty much ending the bad boy Pistons dynasty. Tim Duncan's worst playoff performance was against the six-seeded Dallas Mavericks in the first round in 2009, where Duncan and the three-seeded Spurs lost 3-1. Hakeem's worst series was in 1996, where Elijah Wan, after coming off back-to-back -back underdog championships, were expected to do the same in 1996, but they couldn't defeat the more skilled and talented Supersonics. Shaq worst playoff series was in 2006 in the NBA Finals, and while the Heat won this series, Shaq was just terrible, playing like a shell of himself and getting benched during crunch time in the Finals. And finally, Kevin Durant's worst series is where he got swept by the Boston Celtics in 2022 in the first round. So after naming off some of the greatest players to ever play this game in their worst showings, you're probably wondering, where's MJ, the man of this video? Well, if we put Jordan's 7 total playoff losses on the screen right here, it looks like this. All 7 of his losses by far exceed the NBA legends that he gets compared to. Well, almost. There's two players that would like to have a word with his airness, that being Magic Johnson and Kawhi Leonard. The issue with Kawhi Leonard was that I'm only judging playoff series where players were fully healthy and played every single game, and as you can imagine with Kawhi Leonard, he hasn't quite done a lot of that. The last time the Claw played a fully healthy playoff series was in 2021 against the Mavericks. The guy really only has a handful of healthy series in his prime, and even fewer lost series to pick from. Kawhi Leonard when he's on the court, is statistically one of the greatest players of all time. The problem is he isn't on the court a lot. And Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson, similar to Jordan, has really kept a clean slate in the postseason. Don't get me wrong, the 1984 finals weren't great, but it's way better than most NBA legends' worst series. Some other notable letdowns from Magic were against the Rockets in 1981. The three-seeded Lakers lost to the six-seeded Rockets 2-1. Despite Magic Johnson just coming off of a knee injury, he still had a decent series. Another bad series in contention is the 1991 NBA Finals against Mike, but Magic still played alright while missing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for the whole series and missing James Worthy for a game. So finally, to answer the question, has Michael Jordan ever had a bad playoff series? Well, I would say no. 